what up guys Fojo here and today I'm coming to you with another New World video and today we're going to be going over some of slang that's in New World, the chat of New World, some of the things you need to understand if you want to read chat sometimes. There's a lot of abbreviations and slang in New World that has been created over the year that it's been out and I wanted to put a, a list of slang out for people that haven't played the game a lot or are new to New World or are coming back and don't have all the abbreviations down yet. So I'm going to be going over a list of all the new abbreviations and things to look for in chat so you can understand exactly what's going on. But real quick, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would truly appreciate that. As well as hit the bell, it'll let you know when new New World content comes out. Also leave a comment if you have any that I missed because I'm sure I won't get absolutely all of them. And every server is a little different, so these are covering the ones that I do know and trying to help everybody that I can. But starting out with... You can see in chat here, there's a ton of different stuff here that someone just coming in wouldn't totally understand. Uh, M10, Laz, GF, need 3 DPS, 1 healer. Now M10 may not mean anything to anybody outside this game or Laz. We're going to be going over all of these and breaking them down and kind of giving you a little better idea of what these all mean, how to read them, and make sure you know what's going on at all times. But to start off with, we'll go over like the common ones in chat that you'll see a lot. You'll see WTS which is want to sell, WTB, want to buy, uh, BIS, best in slot. Uh, a lot of things like that are just common for selling and buying items in chat and looking for things that you need. And then you'll see things like DPS, tank, heal, which damage per second, damage player, heal, tank are all pretty common. But when you see LF, it's looking for. GF is Group Finder, which is the Group Finder for the game for dungeons. So you go into the Group Finder on the map to figure out what they need, if you can fit into that group. Next up we have all the territories in New World are shortened or abbreviated by a lot of people so that they can do things faster and say them in chat easier. Like this BW, WW, starting need bodies. So you'll see like BW will be Brightwood which is one of the towns, and WW right now is the Winter Warrior. Not to be confused with the WW for Windsward sometimes. So as a whole list, there's a ton of territories and they all have shortened abbreviations. A lot of them are just two letters, and some of them have shortened abbreviations like Reek, Eben, or Brim, and we'll go over each of those here in a second. But seeing something like this message right here with looking for 3M, M10, Laz, 2x DPS, Tank, and GF, Warded with Bane, Easy Gold. That's a tough one to kind of decipher if you just got on a new world and you're like, what are these people talking about? How do I understand what they're saying? And I, I just wanted to make it a little easier for everybody to understand the new world slang. Get a step up on it and try and understand it a little easier if you are new to new world or coming back and don't know all the different slang for it yet. Now on the map and different parts of the map, we'll go over each one to see what they're called and have a little better understanding of why they're called these. We have Cutlass Keys, which is CK or Cutlass most of the time when people put it in chat. It's just an easy one to do. First Light generally tends to be First Light or FL. It's not changed all that much. There's Everfall, which is pretty much always Everfall. It can be EF if someone's trying to abbreviate it quick. Monarch's Bluff. Monarch's Bluff tends to be Monarchs or MB. And you have Restless Shore, which is usually RS or Restless. Uh, Windsward is WW usually. Right now, Winter Warrior is up, so that's kind of just kind of confusing there a little bit. But most of the time, it's Windsward. Morningdale, which is always MD for the most part. Sometimes people say Morning, but it tends to be MD. Weaver's Fen, which is generally people say Weaver's, but uh, WF is also said quite a bit. I thought you have Brightwood, which people tend to just say Brightwood or BW when they want to do Brightwood stuff. Uh, Ebon Scale Reach can be ER or Ebon. I see Ebon a lot. Reek Water tends to be Reek for the most part, but I've seen RW if someone's trying to do it quick. Uh, Eden Grove is tends to be Eden most of the time. You'll see Eden a lot. Uh, EG I haven't really seen much of, but I have seen it before. Great Cleave is GC. Uh, Shattered Mountain is SM or Shattered. Shattered happens a lot. Brimstone Sands. Brim is used a ton. A BS works too. But those are kind of the abbreviations for 
all these different territories and what people say in chat if there's something going on there right now. Right now the Winter Warriors up and there's a ton of people going out and they'll put BWWW for where the Winter Warrior is. So that'd be Brightwood Winter Warrior and you'd have to go there and find out where he is and run to him really quick. But there are other parts of New World that are also very shortened or slang in order to make things quick in chat and make it easy for people to type or to do fast. And so one thing in New World that's huge is elite chest runs. So elite chest runs are where you go and go through an elite mob area, fight difficult mobs in order to get elite chests, which will have better gear and a better shot to get a profit from these. A lot of times when people go on chest runs, elite chest runs specifically, they'll call it a train or a world tour. The world tour will get shortened to WT sometimes. But this is where you go run across the world to all the elite zones and pick up as many elite chests as you can hit all of these different areas in order to get some of the things you're looking for as well as fight a lot of the boss mobs that are in these areas in order to get decent drops going through all of these you will be having mangled which is in great cleave and you'll start over here at the cleaves point outpost and swing around this mountainside over here a lot of people will call this mangled or mang and that's the quick easy way to go on the mangled run next you have imperial palace and imperial palace is down here a lot of people will call this imperial or imp imp is a very common one for this area um, after that you have the ambusti superior and inferior which is very very much just called mines people will never really say the ambusti stuff it's always mines and it's this whole area right through here after that you have merc guard which this is a ton of other names for it but it's generally just merc guard people don't call it the other things that are inside of it so merc guard is all you need to know for this and it's usually ran after mines and people generally just call this merc and that's the easiest way to do it uh, after that we have malevolence which is located over in eden grove and it's this area over here now malevolence is generally called mal or malev in the chat it's just a quick mal is an easy one you know where it is you know what you're doing uh, there's also a boss there called malevolence so if you want to go fight mal that's what you'd say also uh, after that we have eternal pools which is in reek water and reek water you'll have eternal pools which generally just called pools it's quick and easy there's it's not a huge run but there's a few chests in here people want to go get so that one's a quick one there the next one is forecastle drift which people hardly call it forecastle anymore and they tend to just call it sirens as the sirens run in chat it'll just be sirens or forecastle if it's somebody that's been around a long time we'll have kepri and heliopolis and now Kepri and Heliopolis are up in this area. Kepri is specifically an arena boss up here that you can fight with people. It shows up once a day in the mornings. People tend to just call it Kepri instead of Solarium Kepri or whatever you want to call it. Other than that, Heliopolis is the area with a ton of bosses and elite chests inside of it. it. tends to be a very popular spot for elite chest runs. People call this Helio. So if you see Helio in chat, this is where they mean that. And the closest spawn points to that are Shrine of the Nine and the town itself, New Korsk Capital. Now after that, people tend to go to Castrum, which is Castrum Principium, and Castrum Principium is over here this way. The closest one to that is the Wormside Obelisk Shrine. People tend to call this Cast or Castrum. They just leave out all the rest of it in order to make it quick. And then the last one is Beds of Ta Bidget, which I'm probably saying wrong as well. But that's located over this way, and you go to the Nomad's Temple Shrine, and people just call this Beds. So if you see Beds in chat, this is what they mean. You can go to Nomad Shrine and get there quick and easy. But that is pretty much all the elite chest runs you'll be going on. What you need to be doing and what you need to know in chat in order to get to these and understand what's happening. Another really important thing in New World is you're going to be looking at dungeons a lot. There's a lot of dungeon slang and I'm probably going to miss some of the dungeon slang. But I'm mostly covering the stuff you're going to see in chat before you go into the dungeon. And... The first thing you need to know is mutated dungeons, which are dungeons that are going to be changed in a way to make it more difficult, and there's levels to it, 1 through 10. People will be putting in chat mutations, mutes, M1, M2, all the way up to M10. And all this means is that that's the level of mutation they're at, and you need to have a certain gear score in order to enter those dungeons. That's what they're looking for in chat. And so to start off with the Lazarus instrumentality, which is in Reekwater. People will call this Laz or Lazarus. A lot of these dungeons are just going to be shortened up. Quick ways to say it. Lazarus is located in Reekwater, right next to the Lazarus Shrine. 
Our next one will be up in Eden Grove, which is the Garden of Genesis. And the Garden of Genesis will be called Genesis or Gen most of the time. Gen is the most common one. And all of these different dungeons have shrines next to them, which is a great addition to the game that they added a while back and is super helpful to getting the dungeons. But next up we have the Tempest Heart, which is going to be called Temp or Tempest in chat most of the time. After that we have the Barnacles and Black Powder Expedition, which generally is known as BB or Barnacles. Uh, not to be confused with the BB for Blunderbuss, which happens as well sometimes, but generally you'll know based on the text that comes along with the rest of the BB. Um, after that you'll have the Dynasty Shipyard, which generally just gets called Dynasty. I have seen Dyn, it's like D-Y-N, sometimes, but mostly it's just Dynasty. Um, the Ennead just tends to be called the Ennead. It's short enough that you don't need to shorten it all that much. The same with the Depths. The Depths, which is located over in Restless Shore. As long as it has a short enough name, it won't be crazy shortened. Um, next, you have the Starstone Barrows, which is getting a lot more popular right now because of the mutations that have been allowed inside of it. But people generally call this SS or Starstone. And now after that, the, the first dungeon you go to is Amrine, and that one's just called Amrine. So no worries on that one. Not sure if it's pronounced Amrine or Amrine. I've heard it both ways. So that's the quick shortened version of that one as well. But all these different dungeons have certain things in chat to look out for. Um, along with look out for GF for Group Finder for dungeons as well. I know I mentioned that earlier for the regular chat slang, but that's also one that can come along with dungeon slang. And now for the last part here I'm going to go over is I'm going to go over each weapon and the shortened version of that weapon. Most of them tend to be the word that they are, but some of these get changed and shortened as well. But most of these tend to be what they are. Uh, sword and shield can be SS. I've seen it a little bit, but it's mostly the sword is what people tend to say. Uh, rapier and hatchet are both just rapier and hatchet. Spear is spear. Great axe can be GA a lot. People will put GA and WH for Warhammer. Uh, great sword can be GS. Uh, bow is bow. Musket's musket. Blunderbuss can be BB sometimes. Uh, Fire staff is FS. Life Staff is LS, Ice Gauntlet is IG, and Void Gauntlet is VG. Uh, super simple, just shortened versions of all these different weapons and what they are. Quicker ways to say it to make it easier to do, and easier for people to know what you're talking about. But generally, these are a lot of the different terms you're going to see on New World, and the ones that you'll need a translation on or an understanding of what they are, and if you don't know, I hope I was able to help you kind of understand what they might be. There there are going to be more that I missed because there's a ton of stuff in this game and I can't hit it at all, but I tried my best in order to get everything I could that would be useful and helpful in leveling up in the game and getting to where you need to go, playing the things you want to play. But I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys are able to use this and help you understand what's going on in the game if you don't already know. Now, obviously, the ones that I've missed, please put them in the comments for everybody to see if they need to know them. If your server has different slang that I have missed, please put it in the comments so people can see it and understand if they need to. I would really appreciate that. As well as, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be super helpful. And we'll have more videos out soon. I hope to see you there.